Hello, welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom, and I'm Tom, and today I want to show you something I just found out a couple of days ago. I got home, we took a trip up to the mountains, and we got back, and lo and behold, we stick the cup down under here, and nothing comes out. It's froze up, tight as it can be. Well, now this was a reenactment because I was too aggravated and frustrated when I did it <laughs> to make a video on it. So I'm going to show you now how to get it unclogged. Okay, now the very first thing I did, of course, was went to my friends on YouTube to see if anybody else had this problem and how they handled it. Well, a lot of people had had this problem, and a lot of people had a lot of solutions for it. And they'd say, open this door and just leave the door open until it thaws out. And I said, well, what am I going to do with all the food in the freezer until then? Unless you've got a big freezer sitting around somewhere else in the house, that's not going to work. And so, the next thing I did, I saw the guy, he had this weed eater line here. And now I took the weed eater line and run up in here a good six or eight feet up in there. Now I'm not going to do it now because I've got water in there and I've already got a couple drops on the floor from doing that. But anyway, never never had any resistance at all, so that wasn't going to do it. And so then, this person said, well, said, take your can like this, cut the end out of it. Let me see if I'll wide that out a little bit. So cut the end out of your, a can like this and uh, put your hair dryer in it. Take and put your, the hole that you've been drinking out of right here, up around the spout, and turn on your hair dryer. Like that. And so that probably works. That gets hot. <laughs> so I tried that. Didn't get as hot when I tried and did right then. So anyway, that didn't work, still didn't. Now let me tell you, every time I tried one of these, like when I tried this, uh, uh, you ladies will appreciate this. But when I tried this right here and nothing didn't happen, Kay said, did you try? And I said, wait a minute, babe. I said, I'm busy. Don't bother me right now. So she turned around and walked away. And then when I tried this with the can and it didn't work, Kay said, Wait a minute, she said, did you try? I said, wait a minute, babe. I said, I'm busy. I'll get back to you in a minute. So then I had the bright idea that I would bring my shop back in the house. And I was going to stick it right up to it like this and suck it out. Well, I had the same results as I had with everything else. It still didn't work. And so the case said, but did you try? And I said, try what? I said, what do you want me to try? And she says, how about the, uh, let me show you this right here. She said, how about the uh, filter up here in the fridge? And I said, sure, that thing, that's not even in the freezer. How's that going to freeze up? And she said, I don't know, it just seems logical. To try that too, so next thing I did, and so on this particular refrigerator here, this is a Frigidaire, and I, and I like it, it's a good refrigerator, it works good. And so, but this particular kind to get your uh, filter out, you just push in and it snaps and you pull it out. And sure enough, now I took this, I took this filter over here. I did it like this, and it was just as solid as it could be. I mean, there's no water come out, no sloshing, no nothing. So I let that thing set out for a few minutes. Now, I didn't get that with the hair dryer enough because it won't take a chance on damage. And, and so then I put it back in. So it won't come out. You just push it in like this until it clicks like that, and it's in. So then I came back over here to the fridge and I pushed on it and lo and behold there come all the water you want. Just comes right on out. Now if I just listened to Kay for 30 seconds to start with, 
I wouldn't have had to get out all this stuff over here the shop vac the hair dryer what well, had to cut this can off take a chance on I mean cut this can off take a chance on cutting your hand off wouldn't well, have had to go up to the shed and get my weed eater line so to make a long story short guys every once in a while your wife has got a good idea if y'all just listen to them so hey until next time, I hope you enjoyed this little video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And I hope you watch more of my videos and come back and see me real soon. And most of those items I use in this video, I've got a link for them down below. And so, give me a thumbs up and join my channel if you can. Until next time, y'all have a real good day now. And come back and see me real soon. Goodbye now.